Hi, I'm Nathan, and let, we're gonna do projects one and two! <laughs> let's get straight to it! All right, let's do project one. The first thing you need is the gear motor. Which way it spins affects which way the positive and negative output will be. We're putting it from A5 to C5. Then next we need a two snap wire. This is a piece that connects two points. Then we need a four snap wire. This is a piece that connects four points instead of two. And we need to put from A2 to A5. Connecting to the two snap wire to the gear motor. So next we need a three snap wire. This is bigger than the two, but smaller than the four. It can connect three points. Let's put at C1 to C3. And then let's place a th another three snap from C3 to, to C6. I mean C5. C6 is right. Okay, to C6. All right. Next, we get the, next we get M4. This is a shaded hole motor, meaning which direction the input is, the fan will spin. So if the input is here, it'll spin that way. If the input is there, is there, it'll spin that way. Get Now let's place it from A1 to C1. Next is Melody IC. Remember positive and negative. But also, if you're wondering what IC means, it means integrated circuit. Now let's place it on A3 to C3. Positive, negative. Now let's get D10. If the input is here, the output will be here. It goes in, it circles, but it can't go out there. So it goes back and it goes out there. If it's here, it goes in, circles, but it can't go out there. So it goes back through there. Now let's place it. Now we're done. Awesome. All right, puzzle's complete. Now that we've got the circuit completed, let's spin the crank arm. Spin it to the right, like a clock. Be warned that these are very delicate parts, so be nice. Once you spin it correctly, you should see a red light and you should instantly be teleported to 7-Eleven. Are you ready to get some Slurpees? Let's do this. Or here, might as well get a Slurpee. Oh, here it is. Bye.